What's good YouTube? Today I'm back with another video. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my video saying, Nat, we want to see a holiday vlog. So that's exactly what I'm showing you guys today. Recently I traveled to Monaco to go watch the Formula One. And I understand you guys have never seen me travel before. So I forgot to film some bits. I forgot to do an intro for this video. So that's what this is here. And there's going to be some other bits where I talk where I just forgot to film because I was having so much fun out there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content. But without talking for too much longer, let's jump straight into my trip to the air. DJ Khaled! I talk gray, I don't keep it white and black. Only say I love you just so I can hear it back sometimes. Other times I love to have you back. Can't think of a night that we ain't turn up to the max, to the max. Okay guys, so in the terminal, just pick up some stuff to eat. Uh, about to go on the jet. Good thing about when you fly by private jet is you only have to get here 15 minutes before your flight, so I'm not here for long at all. Uh, but let me jump inside the uh, cab that can take me to the private jet, uh, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of what the jet looks like. Okay, guys, just got in the uh, Viano on the way to the private jet, so we're just heading over there now. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside, as so you guys can get a feel for what it's like when you do fly by a private jet. I understand not a lot of people get the opportunity to fly uh, by a private jet, so you may not be familiar with how it all works. And so I'm hoping to that give you guys a bit of an insight as to what the experience is like. Model the ass busting out the bottom. I'ma lose my money in it. Crazy I'm a doula obligato. Get the rubbing on my lap, get the chin out the bottom. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Pussy good, gon' back it up. Pipe up, I'ma pipe up. Make your mind out and fell in love. Choose it time, make that pussy shine. One more time. Baby, do it, baby. Make it okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the shots of the private jet. I hope it gave you guys a bit of insight as to what it's like when you fly that way. I spoke to Ivan when I was out there and I said to him that I want to be able to create something where my subscribers can also join Jet Smarter and be able to fly by a private jet. So I'm going to leave his contact details in the description section below. All you have to do is leave a ping him a direct message on Instagram, send him across an email, whatever you feel most comfortable with. He'll come back to you, let him know that I sent you and he's going to make sure that he gives you the best possible price to fly with Jet Smarter and show you just how affordable their services are. But without going on for too much longer, let's jump back to Monaco. Let me continue with my holiday. Okay guys, so I've just come out of the terminal, just about to meet the chauffeur who's going to take me into the city centre. Got to do a bit of shopping and um, I need to pick up a couple of Gucci polos or maybe some shirts and suits and so on and so forth for the Monaco Grand Prix. Um, I'm going to be on a yacht the entire trip but I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later on in the vlog. So let me go get a hold of this chauffeur, meet up with him and I'll see you guys in the city centre. So guys, as soon as I landed, my number one priority was getting some outfits together for the Formula One weekend. Had loads of people messaging me on Instagram saying, Nat, if you're going to Monaco, you have to look smart. You can't go there in your normal drip. You've got to change it up a bit. So objective one was Nat, go and find a suit from somewhere. So I drove straight to the city centre, headed to their biggest shopping centre there and looked at what suits they had. The best brand that they had in that store was Hugo Boss. So we went to try on some of their suits. I've got this suit that I'm trying on. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna ask Instagram whether it's cop or drop for the fashion show. But I think it's pretty smart and pretty decent. Hugo Boss, um, we're in a bit of a rush, so we just gotta pick up a, a quick suit. I'm gonna try on one more. Okay guys, this is the other suit option, which is a bit brighter, kind of louder, I suppose. Um, but I am going to the Formula One this is for the Grand Prix, for the official fashion show of that. So, do I want to stand out a bit more? Sun's going to be shining. Is this the look I want to go for? Or do I want to go for the petrol blue? I came, I saw, I came, I saw. I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. Okay, guys, so finally suited and booted. We've got the Hugo Boss suit on that we picked up when we landed, which is good. We still got these amazing views. 
here at the villa I'm staying at. I'm sure you guys would have enjoyed the shots of those. Just waiting for the driver to come pick me up to take me to the fashion show today, which should be good fun. After the fashion show, I've then got a dinner meal, which I'll bring you guys along for, and that's gonna be followed up by an after party. But before we do that, I'm gonna get the driver to drop me off at Gucci and Monte Carlo, because I have to pick up another outfit for Saturday tomorrow. I've got an outfit for Sunday already, but I don't have a top half for Saturday. So we'll go in there, we'll look at what they've got, we'll try to find some heat that we can wear for tomorrow. Let's make our way to the Gucci store and I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay guys, so I've just pulled up to where the hotel is in uh, Monaco for the fashion show. Uh, but it's starting a bit later, it's starting in about an hour or so. I uh, haven't had the chance to go to Gucci yet. But the strange thing about Monaco is it's an independent state and they don't allow Uber to work in Monaco. So now I've got here drivers left. And I now have to hunt for a cab, but before I find a cab to catch, I have to go get some cash out because I only have my card on me. Um, I haven't exchanged any euros. So I'm just walking to a casino nearby so that I can get some cash out. Then I'm going to hunt for a cab so that I can make my way to Gucci. Uh, then we're going to check out what they've got in stock. They might have some stuff that we don't have in London, but who knows? We'll give it a little look. We'll see what they got. So one thing Monaco is really well known for is its luxury cars. This guy's got the same car as me, older version, but as you can see, he's got the camo wrap on it. And a British number plate, so obviously from Britain. Uh, and then you've got the big 4x4 G-Wagon. I need a big G-Wagon and I don't mind shit. Oh, in fact, that would be my exact setup. That with the GT. Woo. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is it time to get rid of camo and change it up? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I've got a bitchy wagon, I don't mind sharing. Alright guys, long last I found where Gucci is, so I'm about to go inside. Uh, there we're going to have a look at what they've got in stock here in the Monte Carlo branch. Uh, we'll pick up a few things as always. Uh, let's try to see if we can find some heat for, uh, for tomorrow, because we've got the F1 practice sessions on the yacht. So I need to make sure I've got a pretty decent outfit for that. I see anything is anything and everything's a go, but I already know that and I'm just more ready We've come now, uh, we picked out a polo shirt. It was between the light blue polo shirt or the navy polo shirt. Uh, but for me, it had to be the navy one because the uh, Laboutin trainers I'm wearing uh, for the yacht party tomorrow are dark. So I need a dark top. I can't go over light blue top and white trousers and then uh, you know, uh, dark shoes, so uh, it, it wouldn't add up. So we're gonna go dark on the top, dark on the feet, uh, and then some white jeans as well uh, for tomorrow on the yacht. So that should be uh, a pretty decent vibe. Okay guys, so we've got our pickup from Gucci for tomorrow, which is great. We're now gonna go find a taxi again so that we can get back to Le Meridian Beach Plaza so that we can go to the Amber Lounge fashion show. Uh, so I'm gonna make my way there now and I'll catch you guys there. Okay guys, finally, uh, back at the hotel about to go into the fashion show to see how that's going and um, it starts in about five minutes time so it should be uh, good fun checking that out can't lie i'm enjoying wearing the suit but i'm dying to get back into gucci as of tomorrow uh, i just don't really feel myself right now for like the suit thing even when i have meetings when i'm in london uh, i'll put the suit on literally for the meeting uh, and then straight after the meeting i'm getting trained straight out of it uh, and back into what i feel comfortable in so we're gonna go into here, we'll see what it's like, we'll see what the after party's like, it should be good fun. I suppose the vlog really starts from here today. Alright guys, so at the fashion show it was incredibly loud, there was loads of bidding going on, there was loads of music playing, obviously a lot of talking happening as well, and then the after party was incredibly loud, so I didn't get to get many shots, but I hope you guys enjoyed what I did get to show off to you. So now let's move on to day two, which was the practice session, which is where we first go to the yacht. Alright guys, so I've just arrived to back to Le Meridian where the fashion show was yesterday. They obviously cleared off the stage and everything. Uh, I'm just about to walk down to the transfer. So that's a small boat uh, that they'll take me out to the yacht on. So I'm heading down there now. That's where we're walking to. I'm running super late. I was supposed to be here for that like 12.15 and it's 2 p.m. now. So super late, but it's good. The qualifiers don't start until 3 p.m., which is good. It means that we're gonna get there with, uh, with enough time to be on time for the qualifiers. So let me show you guys what the trip down there is like. Um, I'll show you guys what the transfer is like that I take over there. Um, and then I'll show you guys the yacht. Hiya, hiya, feel. Hiya. Alright guys, so 
and just chilling here on the cabanas that they've got out here, uh, enjoying the views. Just waiting for the transfer boat to come pick me up. It's going to take us out to the yacht. There's a few of us getting on that. Um, so it shouldn't be too much longer. They won't be on our way. I used to be little. I've been alive. Barely got full when I got that meal. Okay guys, so on the transfer now, we've just got to where all the, all the yachts are. We've just got to wait for a smaller dinghy to pick us up to take us to the actual yacht itself. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We'll get onto the yacht then and hopefully I'll be able to film a bit more. Okay guys, just reached the yacht now. I'm going to take you guys inside now, show you guys what it's like. I'm so, I'm so reborn. I'm moving forward. Today has, I want to say come to an end, but we've still got half the parties to go to. Obviously we've got Liverpool versus Real Madrid tonight, so that'll be a good game to watch. Great experience so far, as you can see, leaving all the yachts. This is weird to me. This is weird. I had no right, in my mind, I had no right to be here. And I'm someone from Lucian who had no qualifications, no anything. Statistics would say that I shouldn't be here. Statistics would say a van shouldn't be here. Statistics would say a lot of people that are here shouldn't have been here. And I was talking to someone today who comes up with technologies for car parks. So, you know, the gates that come up automatically, so on and so forth, within central London. And he was saying, in his head, the biggest reason why there's so many people that are living average is because most people don't have the balls to take advantage of opportunities in front of them. And I couldn't agree with it more. You guys have heard me say it before. You just got to be willing to take advantage of opportunities. All of this is very achievable. It's very achievable and everyone here knows that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. I'm gonna go back, find somewhere to watch the football, and then get ready to go out tonight. I'll see you guys in a bit. Remember Shorty told me she thought the rap's good, but the singers off. Watch on your drone now, man. Boy, you ain't shit blinking. Alright guys, so after the yacht, we went straight to an after party at a place called Jimmy's, which was incredibly lit. It was a joint collaboration with Alec Monopoly and Philip Plain. Super vibe, like hands down best club. When you go to Monaco, anyone who does go there, I recommend Jimmy's highly. It was a great vibe, but that's all the shots I had for day two. I know at this point, a lot of you will probably be wondering what it is that I do for a living. I have a website that I put together called www.natsmith.co. I won't talk about it too much now, but you guys can visit that website and you can find out a little bit more about what I do and how you can allow me to teach you how to do what I do as well. Okay guys, so it's finally race day. I'm here at Lemeridian. As you guys remember from yesterday, uh, we've got the private tender boats that come and transfer you to the yacht just over there um, So I'll be going on one of those momentarily just waiting for a couple other people to, to arrive So it's a full transfer over there. Then we're gonna go to a yacht and today's the day I've been looking forward to today's the day when we've got the Grand Prix race um, and today's gonna be a day with the best after parties as well I know I haven't been able to get much footage so far of the yacht and the after party so on and so forth because of how loud it's been It's been pretty hard for me to speak but today I'm going to make sure I try to get as much footage for you guys as possible so you guys can really see what this experience has been like. So I'll see you guys on the private tender. Hey, no more niggas in the party. We ain't letting no more niggas in the party. They might say I like you, then you lucky. She said the body count is free. I told that girl to say we're lucky. No time for these hoes. All right, guys, that brings the Monaco vlog to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. When I was out in Monaco, I was enjoying the party and a heck of a lot. I was turning up constantly. I kind of forgot I was supposed to be filming a lot of the time. So one thing I've made sure I'm going to do in the future is any other holidays I go on, I'm going to make sure I hit up our trips and tell them, our trips, you're coming away with me. We're going on holiday so I can get high quality shots of everything that's going on so that you guys don't miss out on any of the moments, memories that I'm having when I'm away. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I know you guys do it anyway, I know you guys support my videos a lot, which I definitely do appreciate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next vlog. All I know is they keep coming to me like a flashback, nigga, what? Half a million out in Vegas, it ain't all blackjack, nigga, no. Sinatra, but we can never be the rat pack, nigga. No, uh, yeah, follow alert. Little bit of bitch on color alert. Uh, yeah, follow alert. Go get the flower when I'm calling a murder. Uh, yeah, I'm first. I want the baby, the baby, gon' burn.